Welcome to Crossiums. Today we are going to do this ring. Now we are going to set the ring rail. We have to select the size, not the diameter, in this case 27, and press OK. Now we are going to set the profile placer. We are going to select the curve and we are going to select the profile, in this case 11. We are going to select the size to 7 and to 8. And the transform, we are going to move, but remember copying the mirror in the X axis. And now press OK. Now we have the profile placer. Now we go tools and auto sweep. We select the ring rail, we select the profile and close in options. We select OK and press left click select the ring rail and select the other profile. Select options, close and OK. Now we have the ring. The next step is put the, the curves where the gems will be. In this case, we are going to select the outside ring rail, select the profile 2, which is the circle and disable the ring rail because already we have one. We fit it in the ring to 4, 8, and to 4, the side 8, and the bottom. I think it's OK. So press OK. Now we are going to select the Jameson curve, select the ring rail that we did, and rotate the angle of the gems in 90. As we can see, they fit perfect. We select the gem size 1, 6. Now we go gem options, space between gems, and select 0 0.15. The gem placement we will let in girdle because, as we can see, it's inside the ring, so we don't need to put in the table. We are going to select the channel cutter. We are going to set the height in one to cut the top of the ring and press OK. Now we are going to do a boolean difference. We select the two shapes and the channel cutter. Press OK and there is. Now we are going to do an iso curve in the side of the ring. We select and press enter. Now we go options, Y coordinate and select 0 0.331. It's OK. Now we are going to select the ISO curve, press Jameson curves and select object out the sweep, the right side. We are going to gem cut and select radiant. Now. I think that they fit. Now we are going to gems options, space between gems, and select 0 0.15. We go to gem options, gem placement, and set the table. Now it's perfect. Press OK. Now we select the gems, go gem settings, and prong show. Now we are going to modify the height. We are going to select 0 0.15 and we go more horizontal and with the scroll we move the slider and select 0 0.2. We confirm and now we are going to select channel cutter we select the radians and as we can see the prongs 
are in the same place as the channel cutter, so we have to cut uh, the prongs too. But we will do with uh, a different boolean because we don't want the, the ring and the prongs uh, in the same group. So uh, go for it. We are going to modify the height 1.3. And we will press OK. Now we select Tools, Mirror, Objects, Radiant, and the Channel Cutter and press OK. The next step is make a Boolean difference. So we select the shapes of the ring, and in Object B, we select the Channel Cutters, but we don't delete, so we disable Delete Input. We press OK and we'll press left click, select the prongs and the channel cutters, but this time we will delete. And now it's okay. Now we are going to put the prongs on the radians, so we are going to settings, prongs row, select the radians, and in options we are going to select bar. Go settings, Modify the height 0 0.15 and 0 0.5 in the prong thickness. We press OK. We go tools, mirror, and select the object mirror. We are going to select the prongs and we press OK. Now we are going to finish this. We are going to rings. We are select the ring rail, but we are going to select in ring in the option self because we don't want to modify all the ring. We select the diameter, so press OK. Now we go tools, auto extrude, select the ring rail. In options, we activate both sides and disable solid. We press OK. We go Tools, Boolean Split, we select the mouse and we select the two surface. And press Enter. Now we go to Object B, select the shape that we made and press OK. Now we have the sides uh, separately. So go to materials and select white gold and the surface of the ring in rose gold. To finish this, we are going to select the radians and select the quad rows and voila. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, subscribe us.